Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and I am so glad that you've tuned in today. We have a program designed to bless you, encourage you, and to lift you up today. I tell you what, friend, we need encouragement in this world in which we live today because there's so much things going on that will discourage you if you're not careful. And so I want to share some good things with you today. I'm going to be uh, starting a brand new teaching on the millennial reign. This is a teaching that I've probably never shared before, but I enjoy the book of Revelation. And in the book of Revelation, we're told exactly what it's going to be like when Jesus comes back to this earth and he sets up his kingdom on this earth. And uh, we have many scriptures, like I said, in the book of Revelation, but also in Isaiah and other parts of the Bible. It tells us about this thousand-year millennial reign where there will be complete peace. The lion will lay down with the lamb, and the child will be able to play by the snake's den, and he will not be hurt. So I want to encourage you to get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors, and tell them that I'm starting a brand new teaching from the book of Revelation talking about the millennial reign. First of all, I want to say a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers watching. And I just want you to know how much we appreciate you mothers. And we honor you so very much for the sacrifices that you make for your families. Thank you mothers for being such a blessing to your children, and to your friends. And thank you so much for being a blessing to this ministry as well. And we wish you a very, very blessed and happy Mother's Day. I want to share a song with you right now. It's been a while since I shared this song entitled, That Night Jack Daniels Met John 316. So you enjoy this song, this teaching segment, and I'll be back in a few moments to pray with you. Stay tuned now. Searching for hope In my hand was a Bible I read as a child On the table a bottle That was driving me wild I poured the whiskey Into the glass and I prayed it would help me forget my past. Then I read how Jesus, he died on a tree. I poured out the whiskey, fell down on my knees. That night, old Jack Daniels met John. 16. God's word broke the hole that it had over me. I traded Tennessee whiskey for Calvary's tree. That night, old Jack Daniels met John 3:16. Oh, thank God for the cross. to know down by the old place where I used to go they tell me I'm different than I used to be then I love to tell them what happened to me that night old Jack Daniels John 3.16 God's word broke the hole that it had over me 
That night old Jack Daniels Met John 3.16 That night old Jack Daniels Met John 3.16 Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. The millennial reign of Christ actually begins when Jesus comes back to this earth and he sets his feet upon this earth. We talked about the difference between the rapture and the second coming. The rapture could happen at any moment now. And when Jesus appears for the rapture, he will not set his feet on the earth, but he will appear in the clouds. The Bible says we will be caught up to meet him in the air and then we will go to heaven. But, of course, we'll be in heaven for seven years. And while we're there, the great tribulation period will be going on on the earth. God will be dealing with the nations of the earth. But after that period is over with, that's when Jesus comes back, and we will come back with him. The Bible says he'll come back on a white horse, and we'll be riding horses behind him. So if you've never rode a horse before, get ready for a crash course. Amen? Because you're coming back on a horse. And uh, so that's called the second coming. Now, of course, it will be at the Battle of Armageddon when he does come back, and he will uh, just obliterate the enemies that are arrayed against Israel to destroy them. And it won't take him long because the Bible says from the sword of his mouth, he will uh, defeat all of his enemies. And uh, as I said last week, he'll probably just speak a word, you know, just like he spoke uh, creation into being. He'll just speak a word and uh, they'll be just like dominoes out there. He'll defeat all of his enemies. And then at that time, there will begin a new dispensation a new specific order of time whereby God deals with the earth in a specific manner. Now, all through the Bible, uh, God has worked that way from the beginning. God has what's called dispensations, and that's just a specific category of time that God operates with man in a specific way. Right now, we are in what's called the dispensation of grace. It's also called the church age. But uh, that's going to change. Amen? And uh, that will change. And then when Jesus returns, we will have the dispensation of what's called the millennial reign of Christ. Millennial simply coming from the word which means a thousand. And simply a thousand years uh, of time that God is going to work in a specific way. Now, it's referred to in Ephesians 1.10 as the dispensation of the fullness of time. You may have read that before, and that's what it's referring to. And Isaiah 2.12 and many other scriptures, it's referred to as the day of the Lord. And so it's referring to the millennial reign. In Ephesians 5.5, this... uh, Specific category of time is referred to the kingdom of Christ and of God. It is a time when there will be restoration or restitution of all things. Acts chapter 3 brings that out. It is also called the consolation of Israel. It's called the redemption of Jerusalem in Luke chapter 2. And I believe that this will be a literal kingdom that Jesus will set up on this earth because there are some that teach uh, and what's called uh, allegories. They teach that, that all prophecy and book of Revelation, all these things are to be uh, interpreted allegorically. They're not literal. But we believe in a literal interpretation of the Scriptures that Jesus will literally come back to this earth and he will set up a literal kingdom upon this earth. It's also called the ninth kingdom as referred to in Daniel and the book of Revelation. These kingdoms are Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome, revised Rome, revived Greece, 
and then the kingdom of heaven is the last one. Remember this prophecy from Isaiah 9 and verse 6. Listen carefully. I know you've heard it. I know you've read it. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. Now, what's this talking about, this government? Well, see, this is also not just talking about the birth of Christ. This is talking about the millennial reign. This is talking about his government upon this earth. See, Jesus hadn't finished with this earth. Amen? He's got a lot more he's going to do on this planet earth. The government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. That is his name. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Now underline that. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Now understand, that's talking about on this earth. Upon the throne of David, uh, it continues, and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever, the zeal of the Lord will perform this. Now, some have asked the question, well, Brother Mike, what form of government will there be in this millennial reign? Will it be democratic? You know, like we're used to, you know, where everybody votes and, uh, and you know, everybody has a say in things and then they have representatives and so forth. Oh, no, no. It won't be a democracy, but it will be what's called a theocracy. It will be a theocratic government. That is the government where God will reign. Amen? God will reign, and he will reign through his son and the apostles and all the saints that reign with Christ. Listen to Revelation 5, 9. And have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us kings. Now, this is redeemed people here talking. And has made us kings and priests to our God and we shall reign on the earth. It's Revelation 5, 9. We will reign where? On the earth. See, a lot of us were taught we're going to live forever in heaven. But that's not the Bible. Now, we may be able to go back and forth if Jesus wants us to, if he needs us to. I'm sure we could. But see, God made this earth for man. And just because things got messed up, it's not going to stay that way. God's not through with this earth. God's plan has not yet been fulfilled where this earth is concerned. God's plan for this earth was the Garden of Eden. And it's going to be like that again before it's through. Amen? And so this is where things are headed toward. It's headed back to the Garden of Eden. Well, somebody said, well, I just can't believe, oh, as much as a mess that the world is in, I, I can't believe it could ever be like that again. It will. It will. The center of government during that time will be in Jerusalem, which will have been rebuilt and restored. It won't be in Washington The center of the government of the earth will not be in the United Kingdom. It's not going to be in Belgium. It's not going to be in France. It's going to be in Jerusalem. Now, some people may think that it's going to be in London. It's not going to be there. It's going to be in Jerusalem. 
And I think it's so interesting how that almost every day Jerusalem is in the news. <laughs> almost every day. There will be laws and regulations during the millennial kingdom. First, there will be outward laws which govern the natural man. And secondly, there will be laws governing the spiritual man or the man who will desire spiritual things and live according to the Spirit. There will be a millennial temple for the Jews. As a matter of fact, it will be built by Christ himself. Zechariah chapter 6 and verse 12 and 13 bring that out. Marvelous spiritual conditions will exist during the millennial reign. There will be prosperity for all nations and glorious peace and universal religious activities. Now, man can promise change, but Jesus is going to literally bring it. Amen. And it's not going to be the kind of change that will make you disappointed, but it will be the good kind of change. Amen. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching talking about the millennial reign when Jesus sets up his kingdom upon this earth. The Bible says that there will be a thousand years of peace. That's what the word millennial means, a thousand years of peace. Now, I want you to get this whole teaching. I have it available on two CDs. The first CD uh, it talks about oh, just, just a whole lot of different things. I give a lot of scriptural instructions from the whole book of Revelation. If you wanted to get a better understanding of the whole book of Revelation, you need to get this teaching series because I really took my time and I, and I talked about how to understand the book of Revelation. Uh, there's a lot of symbols in the book of Revelation. We need to understand different points about that so that we can get a better understanding of it. I talk about the signs of the end of the age in this first disc. Uh, what will happen on the earth when the church leaves, what we call the rapture, the purpose of the rapture. Now, I go into detail on this, and this is really good, the purpose of the rapture. And, and I give uh, about five or six different points on that. And uh, the great tribulation, what's going to happen during the great tribulation? What is that all about? I go into detail discussing that. The difference between the rapture and the second coming of the battle of Armageddon. What happens at the battle of Armageddon? What happens at the end of the battle of Armageddon when Jesus comes? You want to get this teaching series. That's disc one, but disc two talks mainly about the millennial reign. So for your gift of any amount to the ministry, I want to get this whole teaching into your hand. And it's simply called an overview of prophecy. That's our title for it, an overview of prophecy. And so call us today at 888-429-2280 and tell me that you want to get this two-disc CD teaching. We only have it on CD. So call us to get yours for a gift of any amount to the ministry. And what you send, we can be able to use it to pay for our television airtime. So call me with your credit card at 888-429-2280. And also, I want to remind you about our next concert coming up, June the 5th. I'll be singing right here at Good News Fellowship Church in Tickball, Louisiana. My good friend Glenn Fendelson is always here with us. And also, my special guest for this June 5th concert is Robbie Bankins from Petal, Mississippi. Now, he is an anointed uh, country gospel singer, so you don't want to miss this next concert, June the 5th at 6.30 p.m. We have all our information on the website at mvmgoodnews.com. And also, I'm still offering our special music CD offer, two CDs for a gift of only $18, and it's Simple Things and Gospel Favorites. Once again, for only $18, this is usually like $35, you know, with the postage. And we're making it available for only $18 for two CDs, and that does include the postage and the handling. So call us today if you want to get on this special CD music offer, 888-429-2280. Once again, that's 888-429-2280. And if I'm not in the office, when you call, just leave your name and number 
uh, on the machine and we'll get back to you real soon. Hey, don't forget that you can log on to the internet and watch us on YouTube. That's right. If you happen to miss the television program, we have them there on our YouTube page. It's the Mike Vaughn Ministries YouTube page, and you can watch the programs on demand. If you miss several programs, well, then you can watch them there on our YouTube page. And also, be sure and follow us on Facebook as well. We make uh, encouraging posts on there just about every day. So be sure and log on there and like our page also. And I want to say, uh, it, if we're, you're watching this program and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this program is especially designed for you because you don't want to live another minute without Jesus as your Savior and Lord because, number one, your future is not secure, and number two, you don't know true peace and true joy. Only Jesus can give that. So I encourage you, if you've never made that step to receive Him as your Savior and Lord, you can do that right now. Just just uh, pray with me right now. Just follow me in this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, that's right. Pray with me right now. Heavenly Father, I turn from my sin, and I believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. He died for me. He shed His precious blood to forgive me of my sin. And I receive Him now into my heart, into my life, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer, the Bible says that you got born again and you are now a child of God. I want you to call us so we can rejoice with you. If you prayed that prayer for your first time and you meant it in your heart, we want to send you some free literature to help you in your new walk with the Lord. I have some little pamphlets that tells you how to read your Bible and some different things you need to do, like uh, uh, join a church, a Bible-believing church, and get involved with other believers so you can grow strong in the Lord. Call us today at 888-429-2280. And if I'm not in the office when you call, leave it on the machine. Just say, I received Jesus as Savior and Lord, and, and I want to get that free information. Call us today at 888 429 2280. Heavenly Father, I just pray right now for all of our friends and partners. I thank you for our partners that have been so faithful to this ministry, Lord. And I just ask you to bless them, heal those that are sick, Lord, and strengthen the weak. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. I love you and I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. There's a time for babies to be born Then they steal our hearts and they're gone There's a time for family and friends But God help us to always lend a helping hand and now it's high time to be saved. You're not promised tomorrow, not even today. It's high time to be saved. Now there's a time. When our race will be run And there's a time We'll sing our last song There's a time For laughter and for smiles But there's a time We'll travel that last mile now it's high time to be saved You're not promised tomorrow Not even today Now it's high time to be 
saved. Oh, yes, it is. For the planting of the seed And there's a time The harvest will receive There's a time For seeing the sun rise And there's a time For hellos and goodbyes It's high time to be saved Now you're not promised tomorrow Not even today It's high time to be saved Yes, it's high time to be saved Hallelujah. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com. And our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. Well, used to be singing the blues.